today we're introducing a brand new artist, a phenomenal young man, and we're going to tell you all about him. So let's just jump right into it. Mm -hmm. First of all, let me introduce him. Is Jay Bryan. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. So you've got to describe to the people. Some of them, this is their first introduction to Jay mm -hmm. Bryan. Who is Jay Bryan? Um, essentially, uh, I'm a husband. I'm a father. Uh, I've been married. I'm in my 10th year. Okay. Of marriage. Uh, I have three beautiful children, and that's really who I am, man. Husband and father. We've got to talk about the new project, but before we get into that, let's talk about your musical journey. How did you know that rap is my thing? How did you know that? Um, I had a lot of influence growing up. My entire family is musical. Okay. Singers, musicians, rappers. Earliest form of, of influence that I can remember was from one of my uh, cousins who rapped. And uh, he started teaching me how. So that was probably the earliest that I can remember that I got into actual rapping. Do you remember your first rap? Absolutely not. It was something <laughs> that my cousin wrote. And um, I do not remember okay. it at all. No. Okay, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> the new project is called Christian Rap. So first we got to talk about the theme of the project. What is, what is the theme for this new project? Uh, it was, uh, the theme changed, changed a million times <laughs> just because a lot of as a create like people who create we don't stop thinking right we don't stop coming up with stuff it just doesn't stop unless you force yourself to do it or just completely back away from it so i really didn't have well i had a couple of ideas that i got clowned about <laughs> <laughs> um so i you know it, it was a team effort so I, we we decided not to go with those particular titles and so we did a listening party or listening session at mm -hmm. at our church mm -hmm. um and we involved the entire church family and we came up with a name okay. um, and it was a very good name I think everybody agreed but we came or we arrived to the Christian rap title just because that's what it is okay um, it's bona fide 100% Christian rap getting into the project like you said there's a lot of different songs there that I'm sure all mean something to you and very in much different so. ways but if you had to pick one and say this one is my most favorite mm -hmm. this one means the most to me what song is that and why I actually have two. Okay, I'll give um, it to you. There's a, there's, a, there's a track on there called Greater that's very personal. And it's really a testament of probably the last three to five years of my life in terms of God just maturing me as a man and growing up. Gotcha. Um, and just being able to, to you know, come to a better understanding of, of who God is to me and who I am to Him. Um, and this adult man life, mm -hmm. so to speak. And then there's another song uh, titled Amos 3. Um, that I, I was re literally reading Amos 3, and we hear it quoted all the time, verse 3, um, where it talks about how can two walk together except they agree. Mm -hmm. And um, I was going through some things personally, and it, it just, it, it's like the scripture enlightened, like it was enlightened to me. Okay. That it was God talking to the children of Israel about, you know, how can, how can you be my people, my children, my creation, unless you agree with, I'm your God, right? So that whole concept just really blew up to me in terms of my my existence and uh, and you know the song speaks to how it affected me personally. Now one thing I know that we haven't shared is that you are a minister and mm -hmm. you're a youth director there at the Adamant Believers Council. Kind of talk about that. Does your music reflect your passion for ministry? Uh, yes and no. I mean I, I believe music can help ministry but it's not necessarily a ministry. Um, that's really my heart behind in terms of how I, you know, relate to the music. The music is just fun. It's fun. It's a way that I can communicate God's will, God's purpose, His plan, and ultimately to worship Him and give back to Him, right? We can shine a light. It's an, an addition to the light that I'm supposed to shine anyway. Um, as far as my passion for ministry, for children, um, I, w I can honestly say that God gave it to me. I can't pinpoint where it blew up or magnified. I just knew that um, about five, six, seven years ago, my heart became, you know, I guess, affected by the things we see in the world in terms of how it affects children. Right. Um, so that's what, I think that's where the passion came from. Now, the new project, again, is Christian Rap. And of course, we're sitting here talking with Jay Bryan. And this project is actually going to be released through EX Ministries. Yes, it is. Now, let's talk about that <laughs> connection. We know the stand. Mm -hmm. We know the ministry. We know Pastor G. Craig Lewis. So with the connection with Jay Bryan and Christian Rap and EX Ministries, are you a part of EX Ministries or was this just something to maybe get distribution or mm -hmm. how? Talk about that. Tell us that full connection. Well, you know, they, they presented me with a contract. They signed me for four Bibles. Okay. No, I'm joking. 
Um, <laughs> now this is absolutely, you know, it, just to give a little bit, a little bit more about the testimony behind it. Um, when I was about 21, 22, I, I was introduced to the, the first installment of the Truth Beyond Hip Hop. A 100% immersion to the hip hop culture. Um, definitely seeking for identity. Definitely thought that my talent would would do the things that I needed it needed it to do. Um, couldn't have been further from the truth. Subject, I believe you serve a false god, and my god is the only god. It's time to take my mask off. We had music in common. We applied some of the same values, but our scriptures ain't rhyming. And you've heard before, destruction comes quick to a kingdom divided. And I only serve my Lord. And so when I was introduced to it, um, immediate conviction, I, I felt it. But my form of hip hop at the time was so positive, I thought that I was able to do both. Mm -hmm. So I initially had started doing what some people refer to as holy hip hop or Christian hip hop, not even knowing that it ever existed. If you would have told me about it, I would have laughed at it. Hmm. And so I tried that probably for a better of about six months to a year. It didn't work out. And I completely stopped doing music because of the truth behind hip hop. And some friends that I was hanging around with at the time, um, we just decided, you know what, we'll just live for God. So 21, 22, I, that's a very pivotal, pivotal moment in my life because I rededicated my life back to Christ. Um, in a sense of now I was doing it as an adult or young adult, not just because I was raised to be Christian mm -hmm. or that I was shown Christian principles my whole life. Right. Mm -hmm. So when that took place, um, I, I started doing music again with no intention of, of necessarily getting it out there. And fast forward, I was able to meet Pastor G. Craig Lewis. Um, I had already had adopted the message um, as a youth minister, as a person who was doing music within my city, which I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. And so I was already the, uh, on a very small, minuscule level, an outcast <laughs> because I was going against what everybody deemed popular, bringing secular music into the church. I knew musicians, I knew singers. I was, I was around it. I was in the industry mm -hmm. um, to an extent on a small level. And I knew people, I knew people behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. And so I had adopted the, the message myself. So it actually had automatically became me, which is why I feel like God led me to Pastor Craig because I had adopted the message. Mm -hmm. So how can I go around adopting a message and not, you know. Right. So the path led to, to Pastor Craig. I eventually moved where we, I reside now, which is in Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. And I've been here for about four years and the entire time I've been serving with um, and in the ministry, which is Adam and Believers Council, where obviously Pastor G. Craig Lewis leads us, right? So I stopped doing music. It was nothing. You know, I focused on being um, what we, you know, learned and now we adopt as our creation role. So I started going forth in that, being a husband, being a father, and I found what you would call success, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So normally success is aligned with something material or some form of accolade or award, mm -hmm. and then it's announced to the world, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, my success wasn't granted to me by any particular platform or people. It was, it was granted to me by God, right? In my home, yes. by the words of my wife, by the actions of my wife, by the words and actions of my children. Yes. So once that took place, um, things just kind of formulated naturally. Music became more of a hobby than a pursuit. I gained some friends, some brothers. We started doing music. It was fun. And I'm, I'm telling you, I got emails, I got phone calls, uh, Facebook requests, Twitter, all types of stuff. Hey, man, we need you to come teach here. Hey, can you do something for the youth? Hey, can you do this? Can you do this? Da, 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 da. So for three, three and a half years, I declined all of it because I had found success in my home. Mm -hmm. So because I no longer needed it to affirm myself, um, I think that positioned me to possibly be used. Still wasn't in my mind. I wanted to do something creative because I'm a creative person. Right. I reached out to pastor and I said, hey man, um, do you mind if I use the church or something? And he made a joke. He said, you trying to do an album behind my back? <laughs> and I said, no, absolutely not. And he was like, no, no, man, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. That was two years ago. Oh, okay. So it, it wasn't about music. It was about a you know, a young man being in a position of being ready to really stand for what the truth really is. And if music can come along with that, then it can. If it can't, then it can't. 
So when you ask me in my part of EX Ministries, absolutely, because there's a certain truth and a certain standard we stand for um, that doesn't have to involve the musical side. It's just something that we use as a treat because, you know, sometimes if you have the five course or three course or four course meal, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with a half of a brownie sometimes, <laughs> right? Right. Um, and so, yes, to Ultima, I just wanted to give you a little bit more context to that. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, proudly, I've been mentored by G. Craig Lewis. So then, what about those that say, EX Ministries, Pastor G. Craig Lewis, they hate rap. He hates rap. How, <laughs> how, how, do, how do you overcome that? <laughs> uh, these people are just not informed. <laughs> I, I just, I, I don't, and, and it's kind of, it's perplexing because I get those questions and, mm -hmm. and, and stuff and conversations too. He has countless information or interviews and conversations that are uploadable where he's endorsed Christian rap 100%. He's only continually said, do away with the subculture and the religion that is hip hop. What's wrong <laughs> with telling the devil you don't want him to be a part of your life anymore? Exactly. I don't get that. So no, he's 100% behind Christian rap, has always been behind Christian rap. It's just that he's never openly endorsed it. Right. Um, and rightfully so, because a lot of what we do in terms of ministry or teaching or being able to um, enlighten people to certain things, you want to make sure the people you partner, partner with, you can vouch for. Right. So when I say that I was mentored or discipled by G. Craig Lewis, mm -hmm. I've been walking with the man personally for four years. Yes. So it's a little deeper than, again, than just rap or Christian rap. So then let me ask you this. The new project, again, about to be released, Christian rap, everybody yeah. will be able to get it very soon. Let's go through the tracks. Kind of tell everybody a little bit about, you mentioned the two favorites, but yeah. tell us about the other tracks that make up this project. You know, I think um, the core of Christian music should should be soul music, not, not totally related to a genre, but literally be, it should be able to touch somebody. Right, because you either want to affect change, encourage, influence, or direct um, in some shape, form, or fashion when, when you um, listen to Christian music. Uh, one of my favorite ones would be Face the Stones. Okay. Um, correlating that back to EX Ministries, we're talking about a ministry that has stood the front line for, um, like I said, a culmination of about 20 years now in terms of what's right when it comes to not just living for God, but how we, how we defend the church against the world and uh, how we stand our ground in terms of what's true and what's a lie. So Face of Stones is something I think we're all called to as, as believers in Christ. Okay. Um, it's called to death, whether that death is due to persecution or if that's death in everyday life in terms of choosing God's will over our own. So Face of Stones is one of my, um, I would say, most impactful songs for me. Then we got um, songs like Founders Day, where I got a little creative title wise, not nothing too deep. But a lot of times you'll see the church or churches uh, celebrate the day a church was open. Right. Meaning like we started on this date, this time we opened those doors. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to use that same concept about the day when Christ found us. Right. Because at the end of the day, Jesus was sent to show us the way. Um, so that was Founders Day. <clears throat> we have another song called Willing to Die, which speaks for itself. Um, it, it, you know, will, are you willing to die for mm -hmm. Christ in, in either scenario? Uh, we have another song called Lord, Lord, where it's just really talking about getting back to God, getting back to the way that we're supposed to be doing things as believers, as opposed to thinking we're doing it right when we could possibly not be doing it right. Mm -hmm. It's like a self-check song. Um, you definitely don't want to be the one saying that, Lord, Lord, did I not? And he's telling you, no, you didn't do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Um, we have songs like that. We have songs like Mountain Top, where it's really just encouraging anyone anybody not to seek the mountaintop um, but to just be reminded of when jesus was tempted by by satan himself on the mountaintop and he still chose to live for god versus accepting the kingdoms of this world mm -hmm. we have songs talking about um god just being alive and well and reminding people of what he's done for us in a song called living god which was a special song very last song we did for the project i kind of snuck it on there so to speak <laughs> i was supposed to be done turned in and i, I kind of was able to squeeze that on at the last minute um we have another song called rap four where it does express a little bit of my passion and reason behind why i choose to rap right because if i decide to stop rapping i just decide to stop rapping it's neither here nor there 
Um, but when I rap, I rap for a specific reason. And that's just to carry the message of Christ and or to encourage or be a light to somebody, right? In some shape, form, or fashion. Then we ha also have another song called um, Made by Made In, mm -hmm. which is an encouragement and a reminder. Sometimes I think we forget, um, especially as believers, why mm -hmm. we're made, who, who made us. You know, we always hear that, um, you know, forget who you are, who you belong to mm -hmm. type thing. But mm -hmm. I tried to put that in con context and, and within the song. And also encourage, because we have a, a onslaught of attack. Um, against the church as it relates to what God created as good, making that difference between male and female. So that song kind of, it's a testament to what God created, man, female, family, and that structure. Yeah. Um, we also have another song called Christian Rap, the title track, uh, what became the title track, where I'm kind of just speaking to the concept of not being ashamed of being called a Christian rapper. Absolutely, we're not hip hop, we don't endorse it, mm -hmm. uh, we don't team with it, mm -hmm. uh, we would prefer to see it did. Um, not existing <laughs> blow it up get rid of it right so um, that's a song to encourage those people who are doing Christian rap to to take on that title take on that box to take on that banner and wear it proudly um, because it's ultimately it's a life hidden in Christ right so whatever comes to it mm -hmm. we got the ultimate protection anyway um, I think I'm missing something that just means they got to get to the yeah I, yeah yeah you, you it's, it's a couple more maybe I can't remember right now but <laughs> well I'll tell you now show. I'll just put my favorite out there Christian uh, rap Christian yeah, rap is your favorite. To be my okay. favorite but y'all I definitely want you to check out this new project they can go to exministries.com Jay Bryan the brand new project Christian rap and one last question you got to leave us with you kind of broke down the different songs and let us know a little bit about each one so the overall Mm -hmm. Someone gets this new project, their first introduction again to Jay Bryan, the new project, Christian Rap. What do you want them to leave with after experiencing your music ministry? You know what? Um, honestly, I hadn't thought about what I want them to leave with. But if, if I was to answer the question now, like just straight from my heart, something that I live every day is just being adamant about what we, what we believe. And, you know, I know it's on my shirt. I know it's, it's the ministry that I serve in and serve with, but it's, it's true. Yes. Um, if you're going to leave with something from, from my music, it's just not being scared to be a Christian, to live it out fully and to embrace and um, endorse it all the time whenever you have the opportunity. For people that want to reach out to you and they're wanting you to come and maybe share their ministry and wanting to get the new project. Now, that connection has to be made through EX Ministries? Absolutely. There's okay. no other way to contact me other than EXMinistries.com. Okay. And uh, not just for Christian rap, but for all things EX Ministries. And again, you do serve as our youth director there. So mm -hmm. you do great things at the Adamant Believers Council. So even in that respect, everything is exministries.com. So want to make sure they got that. And want to make sure they get the new project. I'm telling you, it will be something that will bless your life. So again, Brother Jay Bryan, y'all get the new project. Go to exministries.com. A green dead president. So you get fame on us, on us. Lose touch and trust. Now you can't get enough of what you said you never needed to be. Get shaded. Resorts to getting faded. I never said your soul hit maker you own the rights that i made it the clap sound monotone you need screams through that